Good morning, my friends. It's Sunday, April 21st, and I'm here with you at the Rising of the Sun. From France, from 1147, here is another depiction of a gospel writer. This is the gospel writer John, the evangelist. The gospel book is of Abbot Wedricus. And as you can see in this incredible depiction, the hand of God is coming down with the dove whispering into the ear of John. In medallions around the edges of the portrait are scenes from the Gospel of John. And it looks like the abbot himself who wrote this icon is holding out um, a cup of, I think, ink and the gospel writer is dipping his quill into the ink. How does one depict inspiration? When God's spirit moves through a human being to create art or writing or music, painting, sculpture, It is in John's Gospel that we find ourselves today in Good Shepherd Sunday, which is one of the Sundays of the Easter season. It is in John's Gospel that the image of the Good Shepherd is really elaborated. In Matthew and in Luke, there is this wonderful story about the lost sheep and the shepherd goes far and wide to find the sheep and carries it home. But it's in John's Gospel that we hear about this Good Shepherd in more detail that the good shepherd loves the sheep and will lay down his life for the sheep. Now, at first glance, it's a little bit, well, humbling to think of ourselves as sheep, but I know myself just from directing ordination services at our cathedral or other events that certainly clergy are like herding cats and volunteers too are like herding cats. So actually cats and sheep, well, they're kind of similar. Every human being has our own journey and we tend to wander and we don't always do what is best. We wander into dangerous realms. I was just thinking about the man who tried to light himself on fire in front of the Trump trial a, a day ago. What are we doing? We wander. We may have good intentions, but we don't always do the right thing and we get very confused and we fight with one another. We're liable to fall off cliffs like sheep. But the Good Shepherd loves us and wants to keep us safe. Imagining, imagine if you thought about following the will of God as not just doing what God wants, which is a good thing, but actually keeping you safe, that God wants you to be well. And not necessarily never to encounter hardship, but to keep yourself, your soul, well. The shepherd wants to protect the sheep, wants to keep them thriving, wants to keep them within his own sphere of influence so that he can keep them safe. Or perhaps there were female shepherds, I don't know. God loves you and God doesn't want you to suffer. But God also wants at the heart of all things for you to grow and learn and thrive. God wants you to be safe and well. And like a shepherd, God will protect you, even laying the life of the incarnation down to keep you safe. This world is a precarious and dangerous place the forces of darkness run rampant and we can get caught up in them and led astray. Listen to the sound of the love of God. Listen to the eloquence of silence. Become right in your own hearts so that you can follow the voice of the Good Shepherd. Let us pray.
Almighty God, we thank you for John, for John's ability to give us this beautiful image that Jesus gave us of this shepherd who watches over us. Thank you for the image, for the wisdom, for the love conveyed in that. Lord, keep us safe today from all that would tempt us, from all that would confuse us, from all that would turn us to despair or darkness. Keep us safe. Help us to stay on the path where your voice calls us further and further into love and joy, into grace and mercy. No matter what surrounds us, help us not to be distracted from the sound of your voice. We pray for the sick and the suffering today, Lord. I invite you to say aloud the names of people you love who need prayer. And if your list is long, you can pause this video and rejoin us when you're done. Bring peace, O oh Lord, to this world that is fractured and divided. Bring justice and kindness. Bring us into the fullness of who we could be. Increase in us wisdom and compassion, reverence for folks that differ from us and for this beautiful earth that you have given us. Call us with the voice of the Good Shepherd into your service today, Lord, that we may do your work in this world and usher in the kingdom of God. This we pray in the name of Jesus, your son, who is the good shepherd who lays down his life for the sheep. Amen. God bless you. Have a great day.